Now this is the Grand Vitara Strong Hybrid and we've been running it for around eight months in our long-term fleet. So today we're going to tell you what we like about the car, what we didn't really like and most importantly how well that Strong Hybrid did in real-world conditions, how efficient it is. Now first up, here's something that's a huge technology upgrade. I'm of course talking about the strong hybrid system and the kind of fuel economy it delivers. It's showing 21 kilometers a litre right now and that's in the city. And at times it was even higher. How is it so efficient? The car saves a lot of the energy wasted when you slow down, brake or lift off the throttle. And then this saved energy is then used by the efficient electric motor. It even gave us between 17 and 18 kpl. Wish it were a bit faster though, especially in flat out acceleration. The hybrid system does come with some drawbacks. Now for a vehicle of this size, this 255 litre boot is a bit small and that's because of this lithium ion battery that sits right here. However, you can take out this cover as well as this parcel tray and yes, then a bit more luggage does get in but the boot is small. Why is the battery in the boot and not under the rear seat like other strong hybrids? Simple, it's too wide to fit in there. Now for something fascinating. Now here's a fun fact that never failed to impress my passengers. This car has no reverse gear. Now, of course, it does reverse, there's an R, and of course, it does go back. But it's the electric motor that's doing it, so there's no physical reverse cure. Isn't that amazing? And that means it's even efficient when it's reversing. Let's stay with gears and the gear selector to be precise, something that can be quite irritating. It's often difficult to take it from park to drive. Now, over the months we've had the car, this gear lever needs a bit of effort, a bit of extra effort. And yes, that particularly is galling when you're at a signal and you want to take off and, well, like that. Having no real gearbox, however, can be something of an advantage. And this is something that often delighted me multiple times a day. What am I talking about? The quick responses and how easy it is to overtake. Now with no gearbox and that strong torque from the electric motor, what this car also does really brilliantly is overtake other cars. Put your foot down and before you know it, you're moving and you've already passed your quarry. Pretty cool. And that's because there's no waiting for the clutch to disengage, engage and select a gear. Wish the brakes were better though. Now because this is a strong hybrid and the initial part of braking is basically regeneration. Pedal feel when you brake isn't very good and nor is bite. But once you get into the friction brakes, yes, it does improve. But very often I was left thinking, I wish I had better brakes, more bite. And a bit more pedal feel. What is perfect, however, especially on our bombed out roads, is the ride. Now the other thing this car does brilliantly which makes it so easy to drive in the city or even on broken roads outside town is that it takes to these really bad roads like an absolute pro. It doesn't quite glide over them, but the manner in which it takes them with confidence just allows you to drive without having to really slow down too much. And that, well, is perfect. That's exactly what you want from your SUV. I often drive through some really rough stuff saying, I wonder how it'll take this. And it never disappointed. Something that did disappoint, especially on a hot day, was the cover of the sunroof. Now, over the time we had the car, this thin shroud let in a lot of heat. And that's particularly in the summer months. And I wish Maruti would put something thicker, something that actually blocked the sun. Something else it did superbly, attack corners. Now another really good bit about this car is the manner in which it takes corners. It's surprisingly agile, it's surprisingly fun 
and this agility also comes with something that's essential confidence from this wheel some really nice connect from the steering wheel there was one thing that irked us for the duration we had the car the doors now the doors take a bit to shut you push them softly they stay open and again and that gets a bit irritating you have to push it really hard to get the doors to shut and another thing something that troubled us throughout our journey with the car the quality of the phone connection wish that could have been clearer and a bit louder hi what can i do for you and without asking for it maruti's voice assistant keeps cropping up on the whole we really enjoyed running this ground breaking car as a long termer and have put upwards of 7000 kilometers on it since it was with us the big highlight of course was the big jump in fuel efficiency and how light on the pocket it felt to use i also liked how confident and entertaining it was to drive and how comfortable it was all in all it proved to be a great companion both in the city as well as on the highway just don't pack heavy